What's going on? What's happening, fellas? Let's get right into it, man. Let's get better today. All right, so today I'm going to give you guys some tips and strategies on how I make my cologne last longer in the summer. Guys, in the summer, your fragrance, your cologne is very, very essential. You're going to be out going to pool parties, mingling at outdoor events. You're going to be interacting with a lot of people in the summer. It's going to be hot. People are going to be sweaty, man. So you have to make sure the way you smell is on point, guys. There is nothing worse than a girl approaching you or you approaching a girl and you and her attracted to each other and you smell bad. There is nothing worse. But today I want to help you guys make your cologne last longer because another bad thing is spraying some great cologne on yourself and then two hours later you can't even smell it anymore. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Now, guys, one thing I want to get out the way is one of the reasons why your cologne may not be lasting throughout the day is something called olfactory adaption. Sometimes it is not your cologne that is the problem. Sometimes it's you. At times, when you spray a certain type of cologne or fragrance on you and you get used to the smell, you're no longer going to smell it anymore. All right. It's like the smell of your house. You don't really know how your house actually smells until you've been away for a long time and then you come back. This is what olfactory adaption means. So if you're wearing a cologne and you really like it and you're spraying it on yourself and you're not really smelling it the way you want it to smell, it could be a chance that you're experiencing olfactory adaption. And there's nothing wrong with that. All that means is that you have got accustomed to the cologne that you wear. Your senses are used to what you wear so it can no longer detect it. Okay, guys, but trust me, other people can smell it. But if that is not the case, I'm going to help you make your cologne last longer because having cologne that lasts longer has many benefits. Obviously, you don't have to keep spraying it throughout the day. And the biggest thing is your cologne will actually last longer. The actual bottle, which I'm referring to. All right, guys. So the first thing that you need to do to make sure that your cologne lasts longer is to make sure you take care of your skin, meaning make sure you shower. Okay, guys, you have to be clean. Wash your ass. The last thing that you want to do is spray cologne on a dirty body. One of the things that's not going to happen is you're not going to get the full effect of that cologne. And then another thing is you're probably not going to smell that good. Obviously, you don't want to miss mix dirt with fragrance. All right. It's not a good combination, guys. So make sure you take a shower. The next thing you want to do after you take a shower is make sure you apply lotion to your body. I use Nivea. Nivea is probably my favorite skincare brand. I got Nivea everything. Nivea face care, Nivea skincare. Um, I'm waiting for Nivea to make a deodorant. I don't think they make a deodorant yet, but as soon as they do, I will grab it. But Nivea, guys, I use Nivea. And the reason why I use Nivea is because Nivea is good quality lotion. Don't go out there buying those $1, $2 brand lotions that just slide off your skin as soon as you start sweating. You want a good quality moisturizer. Now, Nivea is a very thick lotion. It's very rich, but there's different levels for Nivea. So if you don't want the really rich kind like I do, I always get the very thick, rich Nivea brand. And the reason why is because it just works great with my skin. I got real tough skin. It can get really dry. So this brand is very good for me. But if Nivea is too rich for you, there's dozens, hundreds of other brands that will work great for your skin type. Okay, so make sure you're applying lotion, guys. All right. Now, the most important part is where do you apply your actual fragrance? This right here is my Superman fragrance. It is one of the top tier collection fragrances. This is a summertime fragrance, guys. I've already introduced you guys to my year round slash wintertime fragrance, which is my top tier charisma. This one has been going crazy. This one right here is a game changer. As you can see, I'm about a quarter left of my two ounce bottle. I wear this every day, man, pretty much, especially when I get out the shower. But as you guys know, it is summertime, so we're rocking the Superman right now. So where you apply your fragrance, guys, is very important. Where I apply mine first is around the neck area, okay? I spray one on the side, one on the right side, and then one in the middle right at the post point, okay? Right there in the middle, right at the base of the throat. All right, guys, what this is going to do is wherever I go, whoever I talk to, whoever I interact with, they're going to smell my smell. Notice this, guys. I'm spraying it on my skin first before I even get dressed. And the reason why is because I want it to mix with my lotion as well. My body and my skin is fully moisturized, and now I'm applying my fragrance to my skin. So one spray here on the left, one spray here on the right, and one in the middle. 
okay and another thing i like to do as well is i like to spray right here on the back of my neck as well okay guys so whether you're facing me from the front from the side or from the rear if you're my height or somewhere around my height you will smell my cologne if you're in with, with distance okay now the superman fragrance is a very potent fragrance so people are definitely going to smell it this one you don't need a lot but this is a problem that i see a lot of guys having is they don't spray enough cologne on them with the fear that people are going to get distracted by their cologne it's going to turn people off it's going to be too much for other people fellas trust me in the summertime you can get the spraying all right guys especially if you're going to be outside doing work man spray as much as you need to now you don't want to overdo it to where you're damn near taking a bath in it but spray as much as you need to where other people can smell it okay guys so moving along right after the neck i spray it on my shoulders boom boom all right still out the shower haven't really gotten dressed yet all right another point i'll spray is right on the back of my hands okay boom now, the reason why I spray it on the back of my hands is because sometimes I talk on my hands a lot, okay? And I'm moving my hands, I'm shaking people's hands. So when I reach out to shake somebody's hand, first thing that they're gonna smell is my cologne, okay? Every time I reach out and shake somebody's hand, when I give somebody a hug, when I reach out and grab a pen from somebody, they're gonna smell my cologne, okay? Now notice I haven't gotten dressed yet. I haven't sprayed it on my clothes yet. And I got about one, two, three, four, five, six sprays in already. Okay, and this is just on my body. So I wanna spray it on my body first and then next on my clothes. Now, after you get dressed, obviously in the summertime, you're not gonna be wearing, wearing a lot of long sleeves or jackets or things like that. So you pretty much are gonna be in muscle shirts, t-shirts and short sleeve clothing. All right, guys, so after you spray it on your body and you put your shirt on, you never wanna spread directly on your clothes. I used to make this mistake. I used to wear a lot of white t-shirts and I used to notice that I used to get stains from my actual fragrance, from the coloring of my fragrance on my clothes. All right, guys, so what you wanna do when you put your clothes on, you wanna spray the fragrance in the air and walk through it, okay? You walk through the fragrance. That way, the fragrance doesn't directly make contact with your clothing. All right, guys, it's great to smell good, but you don't want stains on your clothes, fellas. All right, so like I said, spraying too much sometimes is not a bad thing. A lot of you guys underspray. I think that's the one of the biggest culprits. You underspray, you don't spray enough, so people don't get a chance to actually smell it. Yeah, you may smell it because it's on you and you're walking around with it, but other people can't smell it a couple feet away. This technique that I'm showing you guys today would definitely help you make your cologne smell last at least 8 to 12 hours throughout the day, all right? One of the things that I definitely recommend is you get a travel size bottle for your fragrances. This half ounce bottle of my Superman fragrance is very small, so you can probably use this as a travel size. But this is what I do. For like, for example, for my top tier Charisma, I'll have the two ounce bottle at the crib and I'll have the half ounce bottle in my bag. Okay, for my travel size because it's pretty much a travel size. But I definitely recommend you invest in a travel size bottle. You can get it for a couple bucks at Walmart and keep it in your bag. That way, when you know, let's say you're about to go into a meeting or you're about to meet a chick or you're about to go into an event and you want to get a couple more sprays on to enhance your smell, go ahead and do that as well. All right, guys. Quick tip, one thing that I do not do, which I've seen and heard before, that I definitely know works is smell enhancers, fragrance enhancers. All right, you can get those from Amazon for a couple bucks. You can probably get those from Walmart, any type of beauty store. But if you're really having a problem with your fragrance lasting, I definitely recommend fragrance enhancers. All right, guys. So, fellas, in the summertime, like I said, how you smell is very essential. Okay, guys, so if you're out, you're having your summer days, going to the beach, okay, make sure you get a travel size bottle. It's going to work wonders and it's going to be very convenient and sometimes. All right, guys, it's your boy KD. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram to either grab my top tier Superman summertime fragrance that just dropped, guys. This is a winner. Also, my top tier Charisma fragrance, which is a winter slash year round fragrance. This one has been going crazy. Plenty, plenty reviews 
on my Instagram in my highlights. You can go check that out so you know it's legit before you grab it. Shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'm going to get that out to you immediately. All right. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. Thanks for subscribing. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate you guys again for supporting. We out of here, baby.